Hi, Lisa Johnson here, your Yam Ambassador at Yummy Yammy, and today we're going to do a cook test of four different kinds of sweet potatoes. The first one is a commercial sweet potato from the store, not an organic one, a commercial one. It's very small, very sweet. Um, we'll use that one. Then we also have an organic one from the store, and if you don't know this, the nine at the beginning of the um, PLU code here if there's a nine at the beginning that means it's organic and um, so we're going to cook an organic jewel yam then we're going to cook a Japanese yam uh, which is a little different again this one happens to be organic it's a Japanese yam a fourth sweet potato is one from a local Vermont farm organic farm and it's a jewel yam too um, it's a little smaller and uh, grown locally so we're going to test all four of those today and see how they taste. Hey there. Okay, you ready to see what our sweet potatoes look like in our bake-off? Here are the four. Um, the first one, of course, was cooked the earliest. So this one's been out of the oven for a few minutes here. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? That's a gorgeous color. And um, we'll taste it in a minute once it's cooled down. I can see it's still a little starchy. It is still um, mid-November here, so that's not surprising. Okay, now we'll go to the organic store-bought um, jewel, not the local one. Um, the first one was not organic. It was commercial, and now this one is organic. Let's take a look at that. Oh, that's looking pretty good. That's a nice, juicy sweet potato. I'm happy with that. Now let's take a look at the Japanese yam and see what's going on with this one. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Very different product, huh? People often ask me if I use Japanese yams, and I don't really in Yummy Yummy because this isn't really my favorite color. I like the bright orange. But this, you see, is much more like a potato. Much, um... A very different consistency not as moist in that sense not as grainy okay so there's the Japanese sweet potato Japanese yam and then here's the jewel yam that is local and organic uh, grown here in Vermont let's give this a taste oh that's looking good too really juicy color Okay, so now that they've cooled a little bit, I'm going to take a little taste of each one. This is the commercial one, or non-organic one, that the little cute little one. That's good. It has good sweet potato flavor. It's still a little starchy. It's mid-November, and that's the time of year where still sweet potatoes aren't deeply cured yet, so they're not as sweet as they could be. This is the organic store-bought one. That has a better flavor to me. Sweeter, better. And now I'm going to use the, take a look at the local one. That's very, very hot. Well, in this case, um, that's not my favorite sweet potato. Um, it hasn't got a lot of flavor. I'm worried it might have gotten awfully cold on its way to me. So um, that can really shut down the whole curing process if it um, gets cold. All right, so now I'm going to try the Japanese yam. Oh, my gosh. That is so sweet. Wow, I don't know what to make of that. That's really different. It's it's much sweeter. It's much sweeter in a lot of ways than than the orange sweet potato. It's more like candy. You know, it tastes much sweeter, but more of a pure sweet, and not not so much that sweet potato flavor. You know, um, 
I'm sure it would be really good. I would like something very savory on it because it's so sweet. All right, well, I would say of our little bake-off here today, um, this one, the organic, non-local sweet potato happens to have been the sweetest today. But try it yourself. I would love to know the results of your sweet potato bake-off. And um, let me know uh, what you find and which ones you like the best. All right, take care. It's mid-November here right now, so it's mid-November everywhere. <laughs>